Would you like to know how to put a thumbnail on your Twitch broadcast after it's over? Make sure you stay tuned to today's video. Hey, I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you want to learn more about live streaming on various platforms like YouTube, Twitch, DLive and more, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit your bell notification so that way you don't miss a single video. Okay, if you've been broadcasting on Twitch.tv long enough, you know that after you're done broadcasting, it will end up processing your video and it's available for video on demand so people can actually go and watch and consume your content later. Then you can attach a thumbnail, but why would you want to attach a thumbnail anyway? Because, I mean, obviously people come for the live, but oddly enough, there still is demand in the video on demand and as well, a key word I wanna throw out here, indexability and discoverability through one of the world's largest search engines in Google.com. Because oddly enough, if you get enough relevance on your video and you get enough people consuming the content, it's going to start to be served to various people through the Google search engine and other search engines as well. So that's why you want to attach a thumbnail to your former broadcast. That way it grabs their eye and it seems much more appealing than some half sneezed shot of you part way through your stream and someone's going, I don't know that I want to watch this video. So this is why you want to get the thumbnail on one of your previous broadcasts and it's super simple. By the way, you can go take a look up here in this card where my brother shows you exactly how to make a thumbnail with OBS of all things. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look how do we put the thumbnail on our previous broadcast. Okay, head on over to twitch.tv and make sure that you're logged into your account. You're going to select your profile picture in the top right hand corner. We're going to go down to video producer. Now keep in mind you can't use thumbnails for Twitch before you go live. You have to wait till it's after it's up and it's pretty much finished and then you can access it through this. So we're going to hit video producer. And it's going to show all of my previous videos. So in this instance, we're going to go ahead and throw a thumbnail over here onto this one. I'm going to left click on it right here. We're going to hit edit. And then I'll go ahead and upload my thumbnail. Now there is a limitation when it comes to size. They want to have it 1280 by 720, which is about the thumbnail size for YouTube. Um, but I believe it has to be one megabytes or smaller. So in the event that you find that your file is too big, you can always just make it smaller. Just remember the maximum size is 1280 by 720. So it can be smaller than that if you wish. So we're going to hit left click here. And I'm going to select the thumbnail I want. And I'll hit open. It gets you to finish cropping if you wish. I usually have it already set. So I'm going to hit finish cropping. And then we can hit save changes. Now keep in mind while you're in here, I'd recommend that you type in what your podcast or your stream or whatever it was you were doing on Twitch was relevant about this one I was actually doing a podcast so I put in um, in this video I show how I set up my podcasts All right and I'm going to hit save changes And that's pretty much it. The thumbnail goes and it shows up here, gets it to where it looks nice and clean. Um, and you can literally go through and do the same thing on each one of your videos. Keep in mind too that if you upload any kind of videos or premiere or rerun something, it's also advantageous to actually put those thumbnails in here. So for things that you upload, it will actually stay in your account indefinitely. I have had these ones up for easily about a couple, about a year to two years on some of these, and they've gone nowhere. Probably should see about updating those thumbnails. So with that being said, if you wanna learn a little bit more about live streaming on Twitch, make sure that you go over and check out this other video here. And we're gonna give you more details about streaming on that platform.